Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about Valley Hill Guide Prize Series baits. Valley Hill is an interesting company. They have Lucky Craft making these series of hard baits. And Guide Pride is a series developed by Lake Biwa Guides who are affiliated with Valley Hill. So they have input in the designs of these baits. A lot of these baits externally are basically Lucky Craft clones. So the B Freeze, which is the Japanese version of the pointer, is exactly the same on the outside. But internally, they have very unique characteristics. As far as I know, none of the pointer series of jerk baits have weight transfer systems. Interestingly enough, Valley Hill has a lot of design input on keeping the bait a certain way in the water. I don't know if you noticed this, but the front hook here is smaller than these two. I believe that's a size six and these are four. And also you see there's only a single weight transfer ball, but the ball only comes up this far. There's also a rattling chamber with a ball that's fixed in the tail. This bait suspends flat in the water, just like that. Okay, and I've tank tested these. If you compare that to some other deep diving jerk baits, so here's a Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus 2. This one suspends very steeply. That's pretty much how the Mega Bass suspends. The Plus 1 as well, but the Plus 2 really steep angle. And the Duo is almost vertical. I mean, this thing sits in the water like that. Okay, and to me, that makes sense for deep diving jerk baits because you want a steeper angle to get the bait down. If it's suspending like this, when you go jerk the bait, you're not wasting any momentum shifting the bait from a flat position to a down position and then diving, right? It's already there. And I believe that's that's the reason why most deep diving jerk baits have this kind of angle while it's sitting in the water. The Jado is very consciously designed to sit flat. And perhaps you lose a little bit of depth that way compared to the bill. You know, if you do a quick comparison, these bills are very similar in length. The Vision 110 claims to dive 14 to 16 feet. Whereas this bait is only diving to eight or nine feet, according to them. That might be sort of a trade-off, and they obviously think that a bait that sits flatter is more enticing, um, probably triggers bites better. Because you have to imagine when you pull on this bait, it's gonna dive, right? So dive, and then it's gonna cock back to level. And maybe that, that action of it leveling out is part of what they think will trigger more bites. Um, who knows? Although I wouldn't discount it completely. Those of you who are going, Psh, what the hell are they talking about, these Japanese people? You know, Lake Biwa, where these baits are developed by these Lake Biwa guides, probably one of the toughest bass lakes to fish in the world, right? Just imagine all those tournaments and ninjas out there fishing that lake, pounding it day after day. And it doesn't freeze over either. So I believe those fish are under the gun um, every day of the year. All right, so here is the shallow diving version. So this one goes, I believe three to five feet, just like the Lucky Crab Pointer 100, except it has three hooks. And once again, a weight transfer system once again, a smaller front treble than the other two. This one, which is a type J, okay, suspends in this position, head up. And that's very reminiscent to the Rampala Shadow Wrap Shad, right? Which also is touted as a warmer water jerk bait. It suspends with its head up. This one actually floats up. This one just suspends. But the concept is very similar. Um, Jado 
this bait came out, I believe, like 12, 13 years ago. So they were definitely first. But this bait, once again, the weight transfer stops here as opposed to a lot of weight transfer system, which is all the way up. You see these three tungsten balls are up at the throat. This weight transfer stops more towards the middle. It probably, although I can't see inside this bait, have a bigger tail weight that's fixed. So the bill, when you pull on this bait, it's gonna dive like a regular jerk bait, and then that pause is gonna cock head up, just like that. And they claim this is a warm water bait. This is a bait you move very fast. And I think this motion of diving and then tilting head up is also part of the triggering package that they design into this bait. Uh, once again, it's very deliberate. It's not just a quirk of these baits. You know, they put different size hooks on it. Now the paint scheme, very nice on this bait. You know, like I went very natural with the long bill because I figure clear, deep water, cold water, natural. And in the summer when you're just moving this as fast as you can, something a little bit crazier although that orange belly that's one of the most subtle oranges i've seen on a bait almost like a rose clear rose kind of pattern um it gets darker at the throat and just fades to a silver the surface finish i believe is lucky crafts aurora finish and they have Aurora Black, which is one of the most popular colors, browns, uh, silvers. They can even print that sort of rainbow sheen, that swirly metallic sheen on completely translucent baits. If it's backlit, then you don't see any shine. But if the sunlight hits it directly, then it gives off metallic reflection. So very cool. This is, I believe, a sunfish color. I'll leave a link to all the actual colors and where you can get them that's the valley hill Jado guide pride pointer 100 sp type j they have another one that's the type r and that one apparently is for colder water and it doesn't tilt head up on the suspend and i'm gonna go ahead and say that it's gonna sit flat as well all right so here's a pretty unique one i don't think Many people have seen this bait. I certainly haven't. This is the Valley Hill Jado Booster Blade 77. Uh, there's one that comes in at 55 millimeters, which is tiny. This bait sinks, has basically a tail spinner, and it has no action. I'll, I'll leave a link to the underwater video. Um, it goes straight through the water, the tail spins, and from what I see, they're retrieving it pretty quickly. I believe when it falls, it has no shimmy. And again, this is not by accident. And it's all about baits that go through the water completely straight. It doesn't wiggle. It doesn't wobble. I believe they extended the tail spinner out is to eliminate the turbulence in the back moving the front of the body okay they don't want that and their theory is if you look at small minnows swimming at a rapid rate their tails are kicking but the body and the head especially is pretty still right it's not this exaggerated kind of snaking action that a lot of swim baits and crank baits do and once again you have that Emerald Green Eye, which is a signature of all the Valley Hill series hard baits. And if you ask me, this is a pretty clear water presentation. You're not going to go throw this when you have one or two feet of this. It's going to be 5, 10, 20. Um, and probably when these fish are feeding close to the surface. That, that is the Booster Blade 77. And no guarantees that I'll be fishing with all of these baits. I mean, I'm going to throw them. But whether or not I'll catch anything on them, that's, that's another story. But I figure you guys will want to at least see these close up. Um, not, not that many videos out there on them. I mean, there's, there's so many baits out there now. 
All right, so these are the Valley Hell Baits that I got. Just three, but winter is just starting. And I figure once every month or so, I'll be getting a little package in the mail. All right, thanks for watching, guys.